your local election headquarters as you and your neighbors make big decisions about the future of our communities and our country. So it is election day and we've had our crews out and about since before the polls opened in Knox County at 8 a.m. this morning. You're looking at video from the Cedar Bluff voting location where with lots of voters interested in these races and with social distancing in place, we saw lines sneaking through the hallways of the middle school and out onto the sidewalk. We also saw long lines from the very start of early voting. And so election administrators, well, they've been prepping to welcome big numbers of voters today and address concerns about COVID-19. We sent WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirstie Crawford to see the process in action. She was at Dogwood Elementary. I'm here at Dogwood Elementary School, one of the polling locations in North Knoxville. So far, I've seen several people come in and out. No long lines. It's just been moving very quickly. Polling locations in Knox County opened up at 8 o'clock this morning. Depending on which ones you went to, you might have seen a long line. But as you got closer to the afternoon, those lines were almost non-existent. Voters were going in and out with ease. You'll also see at these polling locations, Plenty of safety guidelines for COVID-19 being followed. There is face masks, fresh new pens, and social distancing. One voter says she waited to vote today. She didn't want to vote during early voting. Because it's not over till it's over. So basically everything that leads up to this day still counts. So, you know, I wanted to wait till the very last day so I get all the information and I took the day off. And I was pretty stoked about it. Don't forget, you still have until 8 o'clock tonight to cast your ballot. And even if you're in line at 8 o'clock and there's a lot of people ahead of you, you still will be able to vote. Reporting Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. And the hours ahead are also a final opportunity for mail-in ballots to arrive at local election offices. Knox County voters who still have not mailed in their absentee ballots will have until 3 p.m. today to make their vote count. The County Election Commission says voters can bring their ballots to the downtown Knoxville Post Office along West Main Street. The ballot must be sealed in an envelope with a first-class postage stamp. Again, the deadline to submit these ballots is 3 p.m. today. We are also keeping an eye on how the candidates are spending those final hours in the race here in Tennessee. There is a Senate seat up for grabs as well. Marquita Bradshaw and Bill Haggerty are vying for the seat opening up as Senator Lamar Alexander retires. WATE 6 on your side reporter Austin Martin joins us now from the alert desk. He has more on how the candidates are spending Election Day. Hi, Austin. Hey, Doug. Bill Haggerty, the former ambassador to Japan, brought his Election Day campaign through Knoxville this morning. Haggerty held a breakfast event at Scramble Jake's Restaurant in West Knoxville with Republican leaders on hand, including County Mayor Glenn Jacobs and former Governor Bill Haslam. I've known Bill for a long time. He served in our administration. He helped bring jobs to Tennessee. I saw him as an ambassador to Japan, really become our point person for all of Asia for the country, and he'll bring that experience to the United States Senate. I'm excited he's, he's going to have the opportunity to do that. My goal is to represent all Tennesseans, just as I represented all Americans when I served as the U.S. ambassador to Japan. I'm confident that Tennessee values are going to resonate well in Washington, D.C. Democrat Marquita Bradshaw is spending Election Day focusing on her home turf around the Memphis area. That's where Bradshaw held a rally last night telling supporters that her supporters were going to turn the vote in big numbers. And show up and show out in Shelby County in ways that they have not seen before. Because the hometown girl, Marquita Bradshaw, from South Memphis, is on the ballot and is going to step into the U.S. Senate with all of your help. Bradshaw and Tennessee Democrats lost a bid yesterday to gain access to state records of voters who had issued absentee ballots but who had not returned them. Her campaign hoped to reach out to those voters. The Bradshaw camp calls the denial a form of voter suppression. Of course, we will have coverage all day long right here on air and online. For At the Alert Desk, I'm Austin Barton. All right, Austin, thank you very much. And of course, that's just one of many Tennessee races we will be watching throughout the day. Like the U.S. House of Representatives District 1 race between Republican Diana Harshbarger and Democrat Bill, uh, excuse me, Blair Walsingham, that is for Congressman Phil Rose's seat. He's not seeking re-election. There's also the District 2 race between Republican incumbent Tim Burchett and Democrat Renee Hoyos, the independent 
Campbell, uh, Matthew Campbell is the independent, plus a number of state house seats up for grabs as well.